Former American President Bill Clinton and his daughter Chelsea were the guests of honor at a global conversation in Pretoria on Wednesday evening. The event was hosted by the Nelson Mandela Center for Memory and the Clinton Foundation under the theme of Embrace Tomorrow. Streamed live over social network Facebook, the interactive dialogue aimed at exploring how proactive citizenship will help create a better future. America's 42nd president says the optimal use of technology will allow for better access to education. Whether we can short circuit a lot of the normal developmental processes that would give high quality education to people in not only in low income countries but in poor areas of countries that aren't low income. South Africa's got the highest per capita income in Sub Saharan Africa, but there's still a lot of poor places. And we need to figure out what we can and cannot get out of technology made universally available and accelerate that. Other panelists agreed that education and skills development are key in creating a better future for the youth. I personally feel that as a community member and as an individual, it's up to you to create an opportunity for a person to access education. If you see a young person in your community who does not have an opportunity, if you create just for that one person, you have made a change. Other than education, we have to provide them the skills in order to realize that potential. And that is the race that we have as Africa. It represents our greatest opportunity, but we have to square up to the need for skills, great development of our young people. Because we have to realize that with this youth uh, bulge that we have, this potential huge demographic dividend, you will be able to win an election in the next 10 years in Africa without a single person over 30 voting for you. That's the power you have. Meanwhile, Clinton's daughter Chelsea, the vice chair of the Clinton Foundation, said gender equality hampers development and growth on the African continent. If, if, um, if smallholder female farmers had access to the same quality seed and fertilizer that their male counterparts had, we could end hunger on the continent of Africa without even improving the quality of seed or fertilizer. So hopefully gender equality is something we can get to as well. The former president also commended South Africa in the strides it has made in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Reynard Serene, Eyewitness News, Pretoria. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.